Okay, guys. So right here, it'd be really great if you could print this out. And if you can't, we understand. You know, please follow along with this video. It's, it's very easy, and it's, it's hard for me to... I'm looking up at a camera. I'm going to hold this thing in place at the same time. So I'm going to do my best to help you guys. It's a really good sheet. So if you have this sheet, I want you to take a look. And all we're doing is building what we did last week. Now that you understand what a Lewis structure is, this is going to be so easy. And you're going to start to see a really pat neat pattern here that was discussed last week. I think Mrs. Blank's video or something like that, I think, discussed this. So we're going to take Lewis structures and we're going to show you we're going to review how to draw them and how they relate to the groups or families, these vertical columns, okay? So last week, you guys know these horizontal rows were periods. This would tell me I was period one, period two, period three, and this is period four. So what I'd like you to do, and this helps with the board diagrams, which are still important. You're going to write down period PD1, PD2 for the second row. PD, I hope you guys can see it, good, three for the third row, and PD, four for the fourth row. Okay? So now, so those are the periods. Now we're going to talk about groups. Now there's another name for groups. They're called families. And I use this corny song, but all my students remember it from years past, and they always come back and say, oh, I remember that, I remember. So I'm going to tell you this. So... There used to be a song in the 70s called We Are Family, some annoying disco song. We are family, hey, 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 whatever, right? So I got a better version. It's educational. It goes like this. Since groups are also called families, I have a better version of it. We are, sing along. We are family, hey, hey, hey. I got all my valence with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I just say? I got all my valence with me? Oh, if you remember back to Miss Blank's video last week, it said, oh, the group number, each member of a same group, for the most part, has the same number of valence electrons. So, we are family, hey, 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 I got all my valence with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, if this is group one, so I'd like you to now label group one up top here. And at the bottom, well, now we'll show you in a minute, you're going to draw the Lewis structure for each of these guys. So how many valence electrons are found in group one? There are one valence electron. So I want you to put at the bottom one V E negative. That's just, that's like an abbreviation for valence electron. One V E negative. One V E negative. And how do we draw the Lewis structures? Well, they each get one. So you start right here. Watch this. One. One. One and one. So each of these four each have one valence electron. Is that clear? Okay. Each of these four have one valence electron. Okay. So now, what do you think about group two? So right here we have group, we want to write this right here, two, right here. So I have their group two. In fact, let me see if I can zoom in ever so. I don't really want to because then you can't. I'm sure you can see it. Okay. So how many valence electrons do, does all of group two have? We are family. Hey, hey, hey. I got all my valence with me. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. So they have two valence electrons. So follow it. How do we draw it? One, two, just like that. So I want you to take a second and draw magnesium and calcium following the same format, showing two valence electrons. I'll give you a second. And you're going to draw it. One, two, one, two. So all the elements of group one have one valence electron. Group two has two valence electrons. Okay. So now I'm a little bit out of room here. So right here is group 13. So I'm going to squeeze this underneath group. Whoops. 13. And I'll put it again down here. GR13. Now they don't have 13 valence electrons because we have to take it 3 through 12 are a little different. They're called transition metals. They, they're a little different. So they, if we're in group 13, we have three valence electrons. And if you follow what you've been taught with the Lewis structure, you go one, two, three. See that? For aluminum. One, two, three. Just like that. 
Okay. Now you've got group 14. So and underline the 3 from 13 and 4 from 14. That means we've got four valence electrons. So follow the format. 1, 2, 3, 4, just like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Just like that. Aren't these much easier than boring diagrams? And you're going to put here, they have 4 valence V. E negative. And again, why do we care about the valence electrons? You're going to learn, they're the ones, do you ever hear of like NaCl, which is sodium chloride? Eventually you're going to learn sodium has to give chlorine a valence electron. And because of that, they kind of bond together. But that, that's next week or the week after. Okay, so group 15. We are family. Hey, hey, hey. I got all my valence with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How many valence do they have? We're in group 15. Five. Five valence electrons. So now I've got, let's draw it together. One, two, three, four, five. So it goes one, two, three, four, five. Remember the last video we said don't draw them where like this guy goes here, then it looks like two levels. Make sure they're like in one circle, like on one level, because we want to show the outer level. So many kids used to draw it that way until we told them to do it this way. Now it makes sense. Again, phosphorus is a group 15, 5. We are family. I got all my valence with me. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Group 16. And I'm going to run the line of 6 and 16. And you know they have 6 valence electrons. So how do we draw six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. Again, they're all in the same like circular path. You don't want to make two circular paths, one circular path. And again, we are family or a group. I got all my valence with me. So this dude's got six right here. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Just like that. Okay. Predict, guys. Let's see. This is real hard. Just kidding. Group 17. Thanks to Miss Blank. Last week coming up, you know, and coming up with these worksheets and videos and everything. Great job, Miss Blank, Miss Hoffman, all the other teachers that came up with stuff for this. This is great. How many valence electrons do we have now? Seven. See, last week we learned, oh, the number goes with the group. Now we're just showing you how to draw Lewis structures. See how easy this is? So this group has seven valence electrons. So we're going to put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. See how these two are together? These two are together? This guy's all alone. We are family. I got all my valence with me. Whoops. Let's take a look at chlorine. Same thing. We are family. I got all my balance. Same number of balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then number, okay, now watch this. This is, what the, what was that? Why, why is there a weird noise? Oh, I'll tell you why. This is group 18. We are family. Hey, 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 I got all my va- What the? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Didn't the last video say helium has two electrons? Then why aren't they over here? They should be in group two. This is, this is wrong. No, it's not. This is the exception. That's why I made that funny noise. Did you ever inhale helium and make that weird noise? Helium is a little bit different in this family. So let's start off with this real quick. Group 18. We are family. I got all my balance with me. <laughs> Oops, helium. Okay, we'll get to you in a second. So helium is the exception. So watch this. We're going to put right here, instead of, most of them have, you think, have how many? Eight. Most have eight. All of them have eight. Eight BE, except for helium. Helium has 
two. So here, here's the situation. I'm going to draw the Lewis structure, and then I'm going to see if we notice something. So, and I know you're thinking, why aren't we putting it over there? I know. I'll tell you in a second. Neon has eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Argon has eight, just like the other guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let me ask you this. What do all these three guys have in common? I'll give you a second, pause it. Okay, I will tell you, what they all have in common is they're found on the end of the periodic table. Again, so why is helium not here? Well, let me ask you something. How many can the first level of electrons hold? Two. Oh. How many can the second level hold? Three. How many can the third level hold? Oh my God, did I just say three? Let me say that again, I'm sorry. And I'm not editing this out. How many can the first level hold? Two. How many can the second level, period two, hold? Up to eight. How many can the third level hold up to eight? And I will tell you, fourth can hold up to eight, and so whatever. But what do they all have in common? They're the last atom on that period, which means what happens? Their outer shell must be full, and that's why it's over here. Helium has a full outer shell, can't fit anymore. Neon has a full outer shell, can't fit anymore. Argon has a full outer shell, can't fit anymore. Does beryllium have a full outer shell at two? That's why it's in group two. It's got two, but here's the thing. It's got room for six more. Helium has a full letter shell because it can only hold two. That's why it's over here. So what I want you to write right here is most have eight valence electron. Helium has two. And I want you to write this. Full outer shell. That's going to be important next week. I'm going to tell you right now. That's why helium is here. They all have a full outer shell. Okay? Huge. So right now, after this video, you should know how to draw Lewis structures and get and understand that the number of valence electrons goes with the group number. All elements in the same group have the same number of valence electrons. And what that means is they're going to act the same way, or very similarly, and that'll be next week's lesson. So, again, we are family. We're all in the same family. We have a lot of the same characteristics. You're going to learn that next week. Therefore, we act similarly. Because we are family. Hey, 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 I got all my valence with me. And remember, why is helium over here? Because they all, they all have a what? Full outer shell. Okay? So I, I really hope you guys fill this in well. It'd be great if you could print it out. If not, you can get a ruler and draw two boxes separated from each other. Just redraw this with a ruler. This is so important. We're going to build on this next week. Okay, guys, good job. Hopefully that helped.